Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lecture series of basic electrical engineering. In this session, I am going to discuss what do you mean by back EMF or counter EMF of a DC motor. First of all, we'll understand what is a back EMF. So back EMF is a voltage that is generated in the armature coil when it rotates in the magnetic field because the rotating part is armature. Whenever armature is rotating, definitely an EMF is produced inside the armature that is called a back EMF. So the back EMF which is generated that will oppose the applied voltage because in the case of motor, the applied voltage is electrical energy, correct? No? So that means that will oppose whatever the EMF which is generated in the armature that opposes the applied voltage. Uh, it is basically explained with the help of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. We already discussed what is Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. Moving further, we'll understand the clear idea about back EMF. See, uh, the rotor, whenever the motor is getting rotated, what is going to happen? Uh, the armature coil moves through the magnetic field, of course. Then it cuts the magnetic lines of force. So because of that, a voltage is induced in the coil, which will entirely oppose to the applied voltage. That means uh, back EMF, EB. Okay, the back EMF, EB, uh, that will, uh, EB will be in one direction means the supply, applied voltage will be in the another direction. Both are opposite. Let me know why you call the, it is called back EMF or counter EMF. Why? Because the induced voltage uh, opposes the input voltage. Whatever the back EMF is there, no, that is going to oppose uh, the input voltage. Uh, this is according to the lens law. Okay, you might have heard about the lens, lens law. So uh, the back EMF uh, that will be opposes the lens law. That is sorry, the back EMF that will be opposes the input voltage uh, that is according to lens rule or lens row. What is the equation for cal calculating the back EMF? So you can refer this equation. Uh, EB is equal to Z10 pi by 60 into P by A. This is the general equation for calculating the uh, back EMF, EB. Uh, you know the parameters flux, uh, the Z, P, then uh, the parallel path. Armature conductor for parallel path, it depends on the winding. Uh, the A will be equal to 2 if it is wave winding. If it is uh, lap winding, A is equal to number of poles. N is the speed of armature winding. Also, we can compute uh, the current, armature current. Armature current is the difference between terminal voltage to the back EMF uh, to the armature resistance. This uh, uh, figure represents uh, the shunt motor. Here you can calculate IA. IA is the V minus EB divided by RI. So here you can say like, uh, uh, it is very clear that uh, the back EMF and the applied voltage both are entirely opposite. Okay, both are opposite actually. What is the importance of back EMF? You are talking about back EMF. Of course, the noticeable point is it will make the motor as a self-regulating. So why it is called self-regulating? At startup, when the motor is at a standstill or steady, okay, or stationary, we can say stationary, the back EMF will be equal to zero. EB will be equal to zero. Correct, no? EB is equal to zero. Uh, then uh, the current is maximum. That means we can say like uh, IA can be written as. So mathematically, we can write uh, IA. IA is equal to V minus EB. EB will be zero only. EB divided by RA. So we can say like uh, IA is maximum, IA is very high. Uh, so current is maximum. Similarly, when the motor speeds up, when the motor speeds up, what is going to happen? The back EMF slowly will be getting increased. So that will reduce the net voltage, that will oppose. So whenever the motor starts operating, slowly the back EMF is getting developed. So what is going to happen? The EB will be there, uh, that will be divided by R. So that will oppose. So the, that will oppose uh, the like, uh, that will oppose the increase in current. That will minimize the value of current. Okay. Uh, so it prevents the motor to drawing too much of power and overheating. So that winding everything will be safer only. Okay. Otherwise, what is going to happen? The motor winding is getting heated up, uh, overheating. Uh, those issues will arise. The second thing is, uh, it limits the value of current. It reduces the current draw as motor reaches its operating speed. That's a plus point. And energy efficiency will be improved. 
so back emf helps to regulate the energy consumption because it will it is it will act as a opposing force it will oppose to the applied voltage initially back emf is zero whenever motor reaches its almost uh, rated speed the back emf will be high at that time it will act as a self regulating machine so it will reduce uh, the motor to draw excess of energy also the it minimizes the speed of motor it opposes the move uh, like uh, the motor to go its dangerous speed so uh, like uh, it balances the uh, balances the speed and current that is another peculiarity uh, in the re uh, real time example you can see whenever you are going down suppose uh, you can see a hill top consider a hill top okay consider a hill top uh, you are right, you are here you are running down you are running down okay you are running down very fastly what is going to happen the wind the wind speed the wind speed will uh, like uh, oppose your motion as you are initially wind speed is very less only because when uh, you are in the standstill position steady steady state position whenever you go very fastly whenever you go very fastly the wind will oppose you that means the wind will regulate your speed excess of speed okay or else whenever you are riding a cycle from top to bottom in a hill station what is going to happen initially uh, the wind speed is very less whenever you go up in, in the down direction very fastly the wind will oppose your direction that's what exactly happening in the case of uh, back emf in the electrical uh, motor especially dc motor okay uh, so uh, this is about the back emf here i discussed about the definition of back emf the basic uh, mathematical uh, calculation uh, for uh, back emf then importance there are five to six uh, important points you need to take care also one real time example to understand the concept of back emf to pretty clear if you have any queries feel free to contact me uh, through the comment box i am happy to reply thank you for watching this video happy learning have a great day thank